for coming uh, that too on a saturday uh, welcome to fcon site and the idea of today's visit is that uh, what i'll do first i'll explain who all are here from our side he is mr knm rao he heads our hydro business unit for fcon we work in five business units across uh, segments of infrastructure this project come under hydro and underground business unit which is headed by mr knm rao he is mr shekhar das he is the head of the project for this project so what fcon's work is the project is headed by a project manager so shekhar das was the head of this entire project he is the one who was leading the two team who has constructed this project and then we have the part of the fcon's team who was part of this project i am hitesh i had the corporate strategy at fcon's and i am also looking after the entire idea viva basu is part of our corporate communications team he heads our corporate communication this is about us uh what we are doing what all this is just i'll give you an idea of course you will know broadly i believe you know about about of course one of the largest infrastructure player in the country around 30% of our revenue on a consistent basis comes from outside india any given point of time our presence is around across 13 geographies that's been our pedigree been it's a 60 year old company part of shapurji palanji who's 160 year old uh, group that's about of course we are known for delivering projects on or ahead of schedule in the last 10 years around 87% of our projects are delivered on or ahead of schedule uh, if you talk about this project this project is part of samruddhi mahamar project samruddhi mahamar project is across around 700 km long project divided into 16 packages afcons has taken two packages what we focus on we focus on large value complex job that is where the forte lies for example chenna bridge world's longest world's highest single arch railway bridge done by us india's first underground metro in kolkata done by us similarly those kind of projects so if you see this project also where you are standing this is india's widest road tunnel and maharashtra's longest road tunnel that is ever been built in india so far we will show you see whenever we go to europe and we say europe mein tunnel kaisi banti hai today we'll show you how indian infrastructure has taken leaps and bound we'll show you the kind of safety protection this tunnel has uh, we have i mean in this project the lot of fire related safety works are there passive fire active fire all that is there that we'll highlight we have taken two projects both projects were finished ahead of schedule this project was finished almost 4 months ahead of schedule and the other package which we have done out of the 16 packages we were the first company to finish our package so we'll take you through the entire tunnel we'll just show you and please feel free to ask whatever you want to ask we'll just answer whatever is in drhb okay so samrit ji par aapka kaam khatam ho chuka hai hamara kaam bahut pehle khatam ho chuka hai abhi to hum log defect liability period mein chal rahe hain humne ye project around 1.5 saal pehle hand over kar diya dusra package around 2 saal pehle hand over kar diya but it is yet to open because आगे के जो पैकेज है पैकेज दिस इज पैकेज फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन उनमें भी थोड़ा सा काम बाकी है पैकेज ऑलरेडी ओपन पार्ट ओपनिंग इज ऑलरेडी कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी में हाउ इट इज कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी लॉट ऑफ चैलेंजेस एग्जीक्यूटिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट बिकॉजपुरी साइड इज अ वेरी रेनफुल एरिया दिस साइड एंड वॉशल साइड during the excavation this tunnel is down down grade tunnel so if uh, dewatering was very challenging was uh, if, uh, if we are not able to do properly dewatering the water logging will be at the this working farm this is the first challenge second thing though this is one phase and another phase is the washal there was uh, no access for this tunnel initially and the the material shifting for, uh, for that side the access was uh, to towards uh, side was very uh, uh, very uh, hairpin bends lot of hairpin bends are there and very steep and very narrow and both side is forest land and there is there is a major structure there is a, there is a viaduct uh, there is a uh, <coughs> balanced cantilever viaduct is there but uh, there also there was no access and and third thing is here when on dam is there this bobble dam for that water is water 
still uh, sufficient for construction purpose. And that side, there is not a single drop of water, even for the drinking also. We have shipped this uh, water from this side to that side over this uh, hill and through uh, forest, uh, reserve forest. Normally, these infra projects are getting delayed. Yes, in, normally. In normally. So, how do you manage the cost overruns? How so, do you manage normally, the infrastructure projects get delayed. But as I have told you, AFCON's project generally they do not get delayed. In the last 10 years, as I have told, 87% of our projects are delivered on our head of schedule. So, for us, what happens is the way we pick our project is very important. See, we don't go for run of the mill project. We take complex jobs, large value jobs, so that the number of competitors is limited. Also, we do a thorough analysis, what we call as risk management process. We see how it is the doability of the project, cash flow, capex requirement. So, pure detailed analysis hota before taking the project. And that is why it helps when we do uh, do the execution of the project. So, so there is no there is no cost overrun in this project. I told you before time we have finished. So what is what, what is the project cost? The project capital, a project capital, how much it is? Around 2,700. If you include escalation, because pass-through mechanisms are there, it's close to 3,000 crores. When it is likely to be operationalized? Depends upon the another package which is being constructed by other contractors. Any estimate? That to client, client can only tell. That client can only tell. Sir, I told about the challenges faced during the implementation of this project. So, any new policy you require from the government to enhance such projects in future? Here, the government has supported us a lot. In every point, uh, whenever we approach to the client, they have supported us. And not only client, or uh, local uh, administrator also supported us during the execution. Whether it may be land issue or in the pandemic also, uh, here uh, uh, government, state government and uh, this, uh, they are supported us for shifting of cement, steel and when explosive further dream lasting. Sir, can you throw some light on the benefits for the stakeholders? Oh, they will be huge. I mean, the idea is to connect you know, Nagpur to Mumbai. So, the one, one of the, I mean, obviously, Maharashtra, uh, Mumbai is the financial capital of, the, of India and Nagpur is a very important city. So, because of this connectivity, the movement of goods, the movement of people, that will be very, very fast and therefore, there will be a huge cost saving which is going to happen. So, that is the idea. Uh, can you, can the, you quantify those benefits? That I cannot do because that's what the government will do. That, that's not, uh, I cannot do. Even the how, how much time will it save in terms of movement from because of almost half, almost half. And most importantly, this will provide a all-weather connectivity through road because of this viaducts and the tunnels that have been constructed. Earlier, you know, we came through Kasaragat to saw the hairpin bends and the and the and especially during monsoons, the risk factor that comes in. But with this kind of access play, with this kind of broad lane tunnels with so much of safety features, government has ensured that you know people traveling by car are not only safe but they're able to reach the point to point destinations on time sir so public link up system when it will be publicly launched yes. uh, as he's just mentioned package 15 and 16 are yet to be opened this is package 14 so hopefully soon it will start Packages were designed. The pavement was designed for 140 kilometers per hour speed of the vehicles. But now, due after mentioning uh, all those uh, accidents, government reduced the uh, driving speed to 120 kilometers outside the tunnel and inside the tunnel 100 kilometers. They are restricted now. Even we, we you can uh, observe uh, the uh, uh, speed plates with 100 kilometers only now. So how much the, was it? Earlier, it, the tunnel was designed for 120 kilometers per hour okay. speed. Now they have restricted it to 100 okay. kilometers only to avoid such type of incidents. You can see it on the display up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
और जो एग्जिस्टिंग चेक डैम्स जो था वह उसको भी हम लोगों ने कैपेसिटी बढ़ाया उसका लेंथ बढ़ाया और हाइट भी बढ़ाया But during the summer and winter, hardly people will get uh, no water. For even for drinking also, from the long uh, distance they used to bring the water. Further, earlier there were uh, some one or two check dams being constructed by the forest department for the uh, purpose of the animals. Once we stepped in here, we have seen the condition of the local people, and we have built several check dams with the permission of the forest department. As well as the with the approval of the irrigation department also, at our own cost, and we, which facilitated the local people to use that water for their animals as well as for them also. And also we also utilized that one water during the construction. And also we have developed several uh, temples here for the for the villages. Some roads, local roads also we have developed. We have made uh, for them, and we donated several. Uh, School furniture also, and even in the, in the local yeah, for, uh, school furniture means it comes to us tables, chairs, and etc. etc. And even in one local one uh, in the one village, one pond is there water pond that also we have excavated and we have uh, increased the capacity by excavating the some silt up, uh, removing the silt from the pond. Like that, we have done several, and moreover. We have engaged majority of the workers from the local people also. We engage with the local uh, equip, uh, equipments, excavators, dumpers, wherever possibility is there. We help. We extended our help to the local. The curbside parking, uh, if any disaster happens, in case uh, yes. inside the tunnel. Yeah, the, the tunnel is basically three-lane tunnel. And one more additional lane is provided for the emergency uh, purpose. So total four lanes are there. You can observe. And moreover, both the tunnels are connected with, uh, through the cross passages. Whenever there is a uh, fire or some accident or some stoppage is there in one tunnel, automatically the entire traffic can be diverted to the another tunnel safely. Thank you. What should happen? So there is first thing is immediately. There should be it should be ensured that when there is a fire, when any fire will occur, generally fire will go outside. When the temperature will increase, there is an LHC cable is there from the from the tunnel. It will detect the temperature and it will send message to control room. They in that zone, particular zone, fire occur. That time, that will that message will. Divert to this control valve. Control valve is there in every zone. Control valve will further take uh, 30 seconds to detect actual change where this fire has occurred. After that, it will uh, command message to the valve, valve unit where water is the storage. Valve will automatically open. All the system will control by the scudder, and at that time. That water flow will start, and our new system start working. So it's all automated, and what happens? Is, but uh, no, it's just, just, just but 30 seconds is a long time, I think. 30 seconds, 30 seconds will take 30 seconds. See what happens if fire is there. By the time temperature reach, by the temperature reach 60, it will start. Okay, and it's all automated. And what is the uniqueness is, it's not a spray. First is as an egg, puri tunnel mein there will be water. It's on the patches of 28 meters. And the spray is in the form of mist. So the idea is, mist is so thick that will cut the supply of oxygen. If the supply of oxygen is cut, there is no uh, fire. That is what it is. Secondly, the tunnel is painted with fire-resistant paint. That is called a fire. Apply is yeah. That is called passive fire, passive fire protection. So what happens is, if आग बहुत ज़्यादा होती है, temperature increases, temperature increases, the boulder expands. If they will expand, the entire tunnel will collapse. Okay. So if you want, we can show you. You want to show how it works? You want to see how it works? Okay.
सो फ्रेंड्स यू जस्ट सी इन द मॉक ड्रिल इन केस अ फायर अकर्स इन द समृद्धि महामार्ग टनल हाउ इट विल बी एग्जॉस्टेड सो दिस वे द फायर एक्सटिंग्विशर सिस्टम वर्क्स वेर इन अ मिस्ट विथ हैवी प्रेशर इज ओपन एंड द एलोकेटेड एरिया ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई इज कट bringing it live from gpn <laughs>